All right, welcome to the biggest Fortnite announcement video I have ever done. So I'll be completely honest, I had no idea what to do for this video. I was gonna slowly build up to the big reveal, but the title tells you everything already. So it's not like I can build up suspense to that because you already know what the video is about. So let's just get that out of the way right now. Fortnite has allowed me to have my own locker bundle. I can't believe I'm even saying this, my own locker bundle in the official game. There's two major achievements in Fortnite. Number one, getting an icon series skin. Number two, getting a locker bundle. Now, considering I do item shop reviews every single day, I think a locker bundle absolutely suits me. So I'm gonna be showing you everything in my locker bundle as well as the official release date. But first, let's talk about it just a little bit. So I've got another video planned after this, not today, probably tomorrow. But I wanted to go over each and every single item in my bundle and let you know why I personally picked it. But like I said, that's for another video. This video is just about what's in it and the release date, as well as a little backstory. So chances are, one time or another, you may have stumbled across one of my videos, even if you're not a subscriber. So I started YouTube in 2010. 2010, that is so long ago. The reason I started YouTube is because we had just found out that my daughter was gonna be born with a severe disability. And I'll be completely honest, I was freaking out. We knew everything that was gonna happen. We knew she would have a lot of issues, a lot of surgeries, and unfortunately, a lot of medical bills. So my wife and I both had jobs and I was trying to think up of anything to get us some more income. Now, I've always been a huge fan of video games from regular Nintendo, Super Nintendo. I've owned every single system and we were not exactly well off growing up. So for me to have every system was absolutely huge but I was always good at video games. So that's where I got the idea of uploading to YouTube. It was just starting to take off and I watched some people play and I thought, hey, I can do this. I can be a YouTuber. I'm good enough at most of these games. And it turns out it was a little harder than I thought. Not necessarily playing the games, but more so getting an audience. So I started with the first person shooter game, GoldenEye. And of course I was really good at it, but the success on YouTube didn't come from that. Then I slowly transitioned into Call of Duty. And for the next five or six years, that's pretty much all I uploaded. And that's how my channel initially took off. I'll save the elaborate details for another video someday. But basically I had around 150,000 subscribers. Now that may not seem like much today because with YouTube shorts and all the shorter content, you can get millions of subs pretty much overnight. But back then over 100,000 subscribers was insane. And then early September 2017 rolled around. I saw Dr. Disrespect play an early edition of a game called Fortnite Battle Royale. And everyone in his stream were like, eh, this game looks so childish, it's cartoony, nobody's gonna like this. But I liked it. I had never seen a Battle Royale before. So I Googled it right after that stream and it said it was coming out September 26th, 2017. So I marked that date on my calendar and when it rolled around, I downloaded the game the first day you could. So I'm a day one player. I played it the first time and I was absolutely mesmerized. Like I said, I had never played a Battle Royale game before and it just drew me in. I got into the top 10, my first match and my heart was racing. That adrenaline, I was nervous, I was scared. It was exhilarating. And every single game was like that. To compete against 99 other players, that was way different than playing a 6v6 in Call of Duty. In those games, you could die and respawn and it was nothing. But in a battle royale, if you die, it's completely game over. So then I had to think, well, what am I gonna do in terms of YouTube content? At the time, nobody was really watching Fortnite on YouTube. And like I said, I had a very successful Call of Duty channel. Despite having 150,000 subscribers, I was getting upwards of 300,000 views per video. But you know what I did? I went for the love of the game. Even though I did like Call of Duty, I was having way more fun with Fortnite. So I basically abandoned my Call of Duty channel and I swapped to Fortnite. And when I first did that, people just ridiculed me. They said, that game is horrible. You will never get any subscribers. I can't believe you gave up your channel for this game. You're so stupid. What were you thinking? And it's true, the first few videos I uploaded of Fortnite, they got no views. I was getting maybe 5,000 views in comparison to, like I said, upwards of 300,000 views for Call of Duty. 
So at the time, I probably looked pretty stupid. But like I said, that game was so much fun to play, I was enjoying it, I wanted to transition into that game. Well, fast forward about a month after September of 2017 and Fortnite blew up. And guess what? I already had my foot in the door. I was there. I was uploading since day one, despite everyone telling me not to do so. And so I just went along with the ride. Fast forward to today, and obviously I have over a million subscribers and such an awesome, dedicated fan base. I love each and every single one of you. So that's my long story short on how I got into Fortnite. I basically gave up a hugely successful Call of Duty channel and went with the unknown game, which blasted off into popularity. So I've uploaded over 6,000 videos. 6,000, that's crazy. And I've amassed over 631 million views. All thanks to Fortnite. So after almost six years of uploading Fortnite content, I was approached by Epic Games and they asked me if I wanted my own personalized locker bundle. So of course I had to say yes. And like I mentioned, I will do a separate video on why I picked everything, but let's go over everything in my upcoming locker bundle. First though, let me just mention my supporter creator code is TABORTIME, T-A-B-O-R-T-I-M-E. Like I said at the beginning of this video, everything I've done on YouTube has been for my daughter. She's had well over 20 major operations in her life and she's not even a teenager yet. So if you weren't aware, I do use my supporter creator code earnings on my daughter and her disability as well as all her necessities. And in fact, because of you guys, we recently were able to get a brand new wheelchair and it was phenomenal. So please, when you buy anything in the item shop, in particular when my bundle does come out, consider using my code, which is TABORTIME. So this is what my locker bundle is gonna look like. So as you can see, I selected two skins, one of which comes with the back bling, a pickaxe, a wrap, and an emote. So let's talk about the emote first because I saw a lot of controversy about that. The correct emote is not vivacious. The emote that I picked for my locker bundle is Hootenanny. So I guess when the data miners leaked my locker bundle, unfortunately, it was displayed with the vivacious emote. And that's just some kind of item shop error. It was actually supposed to be the Hootenanny emote. So I hope it's not really like that when it comes to the item shop. Maybe they'll fix it, but if you see the vivacious one, that's not it. So that's the first thing. The emote is 100% confirmed to be Hootenanny. Now, as for the skins, first off, I've got the Cade skin. So Cade actually comes with one of the coolest back blings in the game, and it's called the Tower of Power. It's literally a desktop computer, water-cooled at that. Now, in addition, Cade has three styles. So he's got the default style, which is called Visor, which has a green little visor cap on. He's got a secondary style called Hat, and that's just a little bowl hat. And he's got a very bizarre third style called tinfoil. And this, of course, displays him wearing a tinfoil hat, quite literally. So that's the first skin. Next up is Special Forces. So this is a very rare skin from Chapter 1, Season 1. He's pretty much all jet black with a military-like beret on. So those are the two skins, Cade and Special Forces. Then we've got a pickaxe called the Empire Axe, and this is a pretty rare pickaxe as well. Most of you may not even recognize this one, unless you're infatuated with how rare a pickaxe really is. And then lastly for a wrap, I chose the Impasto Wrap. And that is my full locker bundle. Two skins, one pickaxe, one wrap, one back bling, and one emote. Like I said, if you're interested in hearing why I picked each and every single one of these items, I will do a separate video. And trust me, it'll be worth a watch because I have a lot to talk about in regards to the process. Many of you know that I had a few select skins in mind to be in my locker bundle, but unfortunately it didn't work. So stay tuned for that video. In fact, I almost had the best locker bundle of all time. You gotta hear it to believe it. I was this close to making the best locker bundle imaginable. Wait until you hear it. So when is the release date for my locker bundle? It's this Wednesday, as of this video, April 26th at Item Shop Reset. So this Wednesday, April 26th, that is the Tabor Hill locker bundle release date. 
So there you go. I am beyond excited. I didn't even tell my family members about this. I was going to surprise them all on April 26th, but unfortunately, and they warned me this would happen, it got leaked super early. Now, some of the data miners were really nice about it, and they just leaked the image of the locker bundle, but they didn't put Tabor Hill's locker bundle. They just put the image. And then other people, not so much. They straight up put Tabor Hill's locker bundle, so the surprise was ruined. And in fact, many of you probably know about it because of that. But worse yet, some YouTubers made videos on it. Come on. Can you imagine if you had an Icon Series skin? Now I understand why some people got furious. For example, I think it was Chica who had her Icon Series skin leaked and she was so mad about it. I understand now because my son, Jack, he watches tons of YouTube videos and he saw some YouTubers make videos on it and he knew about it. So that's unfortunate. I wanted to do a live reaction on my family finding out, but sadly, my son, Jack, knew about it and I didn't even tell him. So in that regard, it is a little disappointing that it entirely got leaked with my name associated with it, but I'm still happy nonetheless. And by the way, you may have noticed some extremely old Fortnite footage in the background. I was just trying to set the scene when I was recapping my entire YouTube experience that led me up to this locker bundle. So there you go. Wednesday, April 26th, the Tabor Hill locker bundle. Stay tuned also for a video where I describe and elaborate on why I picked everything that I did pick. I will forever be grateful to each and every one of you that made this a reality. They said that this was one of the most requested locker bundles out there. And I never asked anyone for a locker bundle. They came to me because of you guys. So from the bottom of my heart, I truly appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. And of course, shout out to Epic Games to make this an absolute reality. Without Fortnite and the extremely generous supporter creator code program, I have absolutely no idea how we'd be able to take care of my daughter. So once again, thanks very much to everyone that supports me. So there you go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.